Hello friends! How are we today? You know my next question. Are you excited to continue Ocean Week? I am. Let's get started. Okay, so today's read aloud is Oceans. All right, so today we are going to think like scientists. So do you remember what a scientist does? Think way back to one of our first read alouds about Ada Twist. What was her favorite words to say? What? Wait, no, it's the five question words. Who, what, when, where, why, how, and any other question word that you can think of. So today I want you just to write down or go get some piece, a piece of paper and pencil. You can pause the video if you need to. And what I want you to do is I want you to write down questions that you have about this book. Okay, sounds good. I want you to at least have, let's do, not five. Let's do at least three questions, but do as many as you can. Make sure you pause the video if you need to as well. All right, friends, let's get to it. Our end pages are kind of boring. Here's another end page. All right. And another end page. So it says, oceans featured in this book. That's our world, isn't it? Remember, this is a globe. Our world is not flat. So we, once again, live up here on this continent, and this is actually connected over here like a ball. All right. So about habitats, oceans. All right. Oceans are huge bodies of water, of salt water, that cover most of Earth. And so this has another text feature down here. And so this tells us where the picture is taken. So it says plate one, Southern Ocean. Okay. All the world's oceans are joined together. Plate two, planet Earth. The bottom of the ocean is often called the ocean floor. Parts of it are flat. Atlantic Ocean. These are manta rays. They're really cool. You know what? Where I live, I live in Kansas right now. And so our state is for the most part pretty flat. It makes perfect for farmers because they can just um, harvest the food easier because they don't have to go up mountains and it's really good soil for our food. And so when I think of flat, I think of like a very long stretch of land that is completely flat. So that's how some areas of the ocean floor are. Other places on the ocean floor have the world's tallest mountains and deepest valleys. Tropical and temperate ocean worldwide. So I was just saying that some parts of the ocean floor are very flat, but others of them, if you live in the mountains or if you've ever seen the mountains, they are big. They are like 10 times the size of a hill and they're rocky. And so some of the biggest mountains and the deepest valleys are actually found under our oceans. Isn't that cool? Let's see what's next. Ocean water is always moving. Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Oh, look at these. We learned about these a couple days ago. Aren't those dolphins? They look like they're having a grand time. The water in oceans may be warm and tropic. Tropical oceans. 
So, do you see this that the fish is in? That's called a sea anemone. And that is kind of, it looks like a plant, but it's actually an animal. Isn't that cool? It has body parts just like us, and it has blood. And then these things over here, this is called coral, sea coral. And once again, to us, it looks like a plant, but it is actually an animal. Isn't that cool? Or cold and frozen, Arctic Ocean. And this one says that these are beluga whales. I love beluga whales because I love the top of their head. It is so cool. Plants that live in oceans need sunlight to grow. They live in shallow water and float near the top where there is no, where there is more sunlight. So this says Pacific Ocean. It says that this one has green kelp or giant kelp, also shown California sea lions. There's the sea lions and here's the kelp that goes all the way to the top. And then in this picture, it's the tropic and subtropic ocean worldwide. And it has sargassum seaweed, also shown sargassum fish. So can you guys tell where the fish is in this bottom picture? There he is, he's hiding. So over here is the seaweed and this is the fish. He uses the seaweed as camouflage to hide from predators. Most ocean animals live near the top of the water where there is plenty of sunlight. So this is the subtropic oceans worldwide and they're black wing flying fish. Flying fish? Oh, what do you guys think they do? Some of them are out of the water and some of them are under the water. I think that they're jumping, isn't that cool? Some live in the dim light between the surface and the bottom of the ocean. So ocean worldwide. One of them is a sperm whale and the other is a giant squid. Can you see him? So this one is the whale, the sperm whale. And this one is the squid, the giant squid. Those two are very big animals. Fewer animals live in the deepest part of the oceans where it is cold and dark. Ocean worldwide. Humpback anglerfish. If you guys remember from yesterday, I was talking about this guy. He has a little light at the top so he can see. And this is one of my favorite fish because they have these really, really creepy teeth. I'll show you. And they just look really cool. Animals that live in oceans move in different ways. Oh, so they swim in different ways. So this is another nonfiction um, text type. And so it gives us a little letter. You see the letter right there? And right there, right there, and right there. And then it'll connect over here. All those are little, are the same letter. So I'll just say a couple of them. Let's do, how about A is called, it's from the Warm Oceans Worldwide and it's a Portuguese man of war. So that's this picture up here. And then the next one, how about we do D? which is in the Pacific Ocean. It's a feared land penguin. And so he swims different than him. So the sharks, they, their tails go like side to side. Penguins, they swim with their flippers. And then like octopus oct or octopi, they like use their tentacles. And crab, they can just walk or float in the ocean. Some stay in one place. Oh, hey, look, 
this is that coral that I was talking about. This one is in the Pacific and Indian Ocean, and it's called a giant clam. There. Many ocean animals eat meat. So this is from the Atlantic Ocean. It is called an Atlantic sailfish, also known as a sardine. Others eat plants. So this is from the tropical and subtropic oceans worldwide, and it is a green sea turtle. Ocean animals need ways to stay safe. They may hide, swim together in schools, attack enemies, or use poison. So this one is another one of those where it has those little itty bitty letters that go to pictures over here. So see the little letters are in the corners. Sometimes you have to look for them. So I'll just read a couple of these again. So how about we do this one, which is D. So the, it's from the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It's called a red sea lion, or lionfish, red lionfish. And then we'll do this one, because he looks cool, which is from the Indian Ocean, and he is a leafy sea dragon. Very cool. Oceans provide food, jobs, transportation, and recreational for people all over the world. They are important places that need to be protected. So from the Atlantic Ocean, laughing gulls also shown ship boat or shrimp boat. So this is the shrimp boat. They're collecting the shrimp. If you remember from one of our last ones, if the sharks disappear, these are the kind of um, fishing techniques that sometimes, if you can see these lines that go out right here, it has a huge sea net or um, net that's under the sea that will go down and collect a lot of those shrimp or a lot of the fish, whatever they're fishing for. And what'll happen is some of the other animals like sharks or dolphin or um, maybe turtles will get stuck in those nets and then they sometimes pass away because of that. And that's why we need to be very careful with those kind of boats because they can damage those animals. And that is the end. And so here they go into a little bit more detail. If you want to go find, here's what I want you to do. Look at your questions and see if they will connect to any of these. So if you need to go back to the page that your question was on and see if you connect those pictures to here. And I'll just put the pictures up like this so you can read along. I'm going to go to the next page. Make sure you pause it if I'm going too fast so then you can read them. And then I will read this last one because that's where we were last. So plate 17. All of the ocean together provide the largest habitat and support the greatest variety of life on earth. Oceans influence the world's climate. They provide many natural resources such as oil, salt, and other valuable minerals. Oceans are important source of oxygen. It, huh, interesting. In spite of their huge size, oceans have been harmed by human activity. Pollution and overfishing are two major threats to the well-being of oceans. Healthy oceans are necessary for healthy people. And once again, we have a glossary, which will tell us some of those words if we need. And then this one is called a biblio bibliograph, graphy, which 
kind of tells you about different books or websites that you can go to if you would like. I do have one of these websites for us to go look at too. And then they give you different series. And this one gives you a little story about the authors. And that is our read aloud for the day. All right, guys, I hope you have so much fun with those assignments, and I will see you later.